good morning good afternoon and good evening to everyone watching we the representatives of the radiant international school present to you our trip to ukaidan the hydroelectric power plant we visited on the 4th of september 2023 now i might hear you ask why specifically ukaidan well i'd like to tell you that it is the second largest multi purpose project in gujarat along with that it creates tapi's terminal reservoir for agriculture irrigation and hydro power production and the most special thing we learned about ukai dam is that in the event of a blackout it can start over in 15 minutes while other dams take 22 minutes manually now coming to the irrigation and water supply the most important thing we learned is that irrigation is the sole purpose of ukai dam and hydroelectric power produced is just its by product now for the location as you can see behind me the map shows that ukai dam is situated right between the middle and the lower part of tapi river it is connected to kakra par dam we are all prepared to enter our buses the bus trip journey was it was in sir 2 to 3 hours long we stopped for breakfast at 9 am and finally boarded back by 9:30 am the journey was loud and beautiful the bus carried the students through beautiful terrains which was a sight to behold the trip was equally exciting and exhausting although it was hours long it didn't feel longer than a few minutes on reaching the destination the security was high we were all checked first and pictures were also prohibited although the students got the opportunity to interact with the csf officers and at site we also interacted with the engineers working at the site inside the hydro power plant there are four units of turbines each almost 150 feet underground with a capacity of 75 megawatts and a total capacity of 300 megawatts and the speed of the turbine is 150 rpm in clockwise direction according to the data collected the maximum water level was approximately 345 feet and the minimum water level was approximately 308 feet the total generation was 990 million units per second then we went to control room where we saw advanced visualizing tools which were used by the operators to check the dam status and condition specialized softwares were used by the engineers to have a clear overview of dam all the questions were answered with shared interest and enthusiasm a small side information the hum the humidity was intense there and the noise made by machines made us feel all dizzy but still amidst it the spark of curiosity never dimmed among the students thank you